Scorpio. How are you? I hope you are doing amazing at this time. I am coming to you, Scorpio. My lips are a bit dry. I am coming to you, Scorpio, with a reading for you. This is going to be a reading for the person on your mind at this time. What are they thinking? What are they doing? Okay, what's going on with them, etc. etc. We're gonna draw for some oracles, okay, please, and some tarot as well. Okay, clarifiers. These readings so far has been have been so in-depth, like, yeah. So I'm feeling these readings right now. Definitely getting a handle on the energy. Please be reminded that not every message will always be for you. Some messages may resonate. Some messages may not. Okay. So you need to have a very open mind when you are watching tarot. Okay. And if you are here, then you probably know that you need to do that. Okay. If you're familiar with tarot. Roles could be reversed. So only take the messages that fit okay for you spirit please guide and protect me as i channel the messages that scorpio needs to know what is the person on scorpio's mind doing thinking feeling at this time what are they up to please and thank you if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, very, very grateful to have you here. I hope you are feeling loved, blessed, safe, protected, okay, and highly favoured at this time. Sending you love and light. Let's see. Some of you could be eating more fish at this time. Scorpio, some of you could be uh, concentrating on green. I'm getting the colour green. Some of you could be uh, self-esteem, absolutely. Boosting your self-esteem through your health. Some of you could be heavily focused on your health. I'm getting green, you know. Some of you could be drinking smoothies, things of that such. I get an improvement to your health. I am not a doctor, okay. If you've been feeling a bit drab lately, I get there's going to be some sort of boosting your energy if you've been feeling like you don't have the motivation to do certain things i definitely see that changing for you let's see tell me about scorpio's person that they have on their mind please spirit tell me about scorpio's person what are they thinking feeling doing at this time what are they thinking you're doing at this time? Please give me clear and concise messages. That's all Scorpio needs to know at this time. Messages for Scorpio, please. What is on Scorpio's person's mind? Please be reminded this could be a romantic partner. This could be an ex. This could be a family member or foe. Take it as it resonates, okay? Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. This person could be going through some sort of regret. Shoulda, woulda, coulda energy. Regretting something that they did in the past. Regretting something about their circumstances now. Success. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Do you know what? I'm immediately getting denial and success. And we have regret. Let's see what the bottom of the deck is. Peace. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. Peace. I'm getting somebody here, Scorpio, who possibly was a little bit um, detached from their feelings. This person is, is, is clearly having some thoughts about 
past events in their life here and this person could have been a person this could, you could be dealing with somebody here who tends to uh mask a lot of things you know doesn't really want to show emotion very closed off emotionally possibly detached this is the kind of person that maybe things may happen that you know may strike up some sort of emotion in them and they push it down and they kind of overshadow it with with things this is the type of person that could be into kind of putting on a show you could be dealing with like a showcasey type of person somebody who is very flamboyant somebody who doesn't allow their emotions to show to the outside world in some way shape or form this is a person who tends to keep their pain their worries their stress to their self as they see it as a sign of weakness and regret is here and this could be that this person it's it's hitting them with denial being here this person could have been in a state of you know not wanting to admit the way that they felt about you scorpio and this is where the regret comes into it this could be a person that's been so used to bottling up emotions pushing emotions down i'm getting a really heavy feeling in my stomach almost like butterflies like this person kind of has been so used to pushing down feelings like pushing down everything of an emotive nature because it's weak to show emotions in their eyes and of course you know when you heal you know that that's not the case showing emotion is natural showing emotion is 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 part of healing you know it's not easy to do so but this is a person who pushes things down to the pits of their soul i'm getting and something's coming to a head with this person and it's almost like they're thrived that they they yeah change it's almost like they they have a thirst they're thirsty for some sort of balance in their life here some sort of calm because you don't realize people who do that they don't i don't think it, you realize how much energy it takes to bottle up emotions you would think that it's just something that because i'm not expressing it then i'm not using energy but that's far from the truth. It takes sometimes more energy and more of your energy source to bottle things up. And it isn't good for you. This can have a knock-on effect to your purpose in life, your direction, how clear you are with where you're going and your vision, um, choices that you make, how you feel, even your health can be affected. Do not underestimate the effect that holding emotions and pent up worry stress grievance anxiety within your body can be detrimental to you as an individual and i feel like that's what's going on here scorpio i feel like that's what's going on here let us take a look here Something's coming to a head. We've got the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. It's almost like this person's feeling is like bursting through the shirt there. Whatever they've been pushing down. You know how I gave that analogy? Pushing the feelings down, pushing hurt down, pushing fears down. And this is years. This is a lot of, of, of crap that this person has been pushing down this is not just one thing this is a number of years of being this way and the, the shirt is bursting open the stomach is opening you know that that pit that they've been pushing things down into it can't fit anymore in there bursting bursting this person could be feeling very um I'm hearing outbursts. This person could be feeling as though they need to release, word vomit, cry, 
this could be affecting people this person in a lot of ways here they may just feel the need to cry and this is the type of person who it's going to be very hard to stop crying once they start but the thing is once they do this this pushes them into some sort of new beginning here emotions need to be let out somewhere and somehow and doing it in a healthy way is very very important ten of wands the knight of wands release this is release here knight of wands in order to be able to have a kickstart this person feels stuck tell me about scorpio's person what are they thinking feeling doing at this time the person on scorpio's mind please Person on Scorpio's mind, please. King of Cups. Person could be thinking of you, Scorpio. Again, emotions. You know, that's what we're talking about. Emotions coming to the surface here. You know, maybe they're connecting with their heart chakra. Maybe they're in the process of trying to do so. And they're finding it hard because they've pushed so many things down. All the eight of pentacles flipped over. I didn't even see it. This is them possibly working on the emotions, working on, you know, why am I feeling this way? Taking control. The emperor's here. It could be an Aries. Scorpio energy. Could be another Scorpio. They're working on something here. And I feel like this is to do with the way that they handle their emotions. Five of Wands, seven of pentacles. A lot of pent up frustration, anger, pain, worry, frustration, you know, stress, aggression, even judgment. And, and you know, look at that card. Could be a Scorpio. Fast release, Phoenix rising. Four of Cups, no longer dismissing what, they, what has been. Put in front of them here the cup is full the, the, the stomach is full the vessel that they've been using to push all of this down is now full knight of swords is bursting to come out he shows up again could be a gemini libra and aquarius here it's almost like feelings are bursting i'm just getting a burst and i'm just seeing a pipe that's leaking and then all of a sudden there's so much pressure in that pipe it just bursts they didn't want to look at this before. This person could have been avoidant, carefree, okay? A person who likes to travel light. A person who doesn't like to address things. This is the type of person that is always okay, you know? It's always sunny. But it's not. We have to find a, a good balance between sitting in our emotions and... And um, having strength to show them. Could be a Leo. Got a uh, water sign here as well. Having strength to show emotions. And it takes a lot. It, it shows strength to show emotions. It's not a sign of weakness. And I feel like this is something that this person is realising. Or needs to realise. Could have felt like this person was very closed off and dismissive with you. And the Empress. This, this card keeps coming out in these readings here. You know, some sort of need for a growth or desire for growth. And in order to have that growth, a release needs to happen in this person's energy. Two of Pentacles, they've been battling with so much. You know, Two of Pentacles talks about being unsteady. And what did I say about, you know, the effect that holding in emotions has? It, it has an effect. It has an effect to your health, to your balance, you know, how you make decisions. You don't think it does, but it really does. But sometimes it just takes a, lot, a, li a little bit of time to actually pick up. And some people go through life, you know, never showing emotion or being shy away from showing real raw emotion, expressing themselves. It could be that there's a reason as to why this person is the way that there is Scorpio. But we're going to we're going to unpick. Let's unpick here. Why is this person so closed off? Or why have they been so closed off? 
Why do they mask their inner feelings, their emotions here? Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Wands. So the soft sabotage are here. Two of Pentacles is here as well. It's like they overthink everything. They, they, they go through this thought process of overthinking everything. And in effect, it could be that a lot of relationships in their life end up ending or they end up disconnecting because of their cold demeanor, because of their detached emotional state here. It's almost like when they feel that they're going to be, you know, opening up and, and, for, this is the type of person that may have a lot of people who they could have had a lot of opportunities to you know with really good people you know really really good people in their life that they could have built and grown with okay this is not a person who's short of you know potential suitors here but i feel like this person has been so much in the start the empress is here twice they're so much in this cold detached stance that it just leaves them unsteady like it, it it just doesn't go the way that they want it to go people could disconnect from them because they're so so closed off clarify this king of cups ten of cups they want to be happy eight of cups walking away it's like they yeah it's like they're oh it, i feel for this person it's it's, it's like this person's intuition is blocked as well. And that has another, that's another effect on, you know, holding in emotions. You you have clouded judgment. You can't really think, log I say logically, but that's, I mean, that's kind of a contradiction. You can't, you're cloudy. You, you can't tap into your purpose, you know, what might be for you because you've got so much inside of you, you know, how, you need to unpack the feelings. You need to unpack the emotions in order to make space for, for where are we going next, you know? And, and this is a person who really seeks happiness, you know? We've got the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This is a person who seeks a lot of happiness in their life here, but they tend to walk away because of this conflict, because of all this pent-up emotion, because of this aggression, because of whatever it is that they've been carrying for such a long time. And it's still, you know, they always end up feeling lost, left out in the cold. And people, a lot of people probably abandon this person due to this reason, because they're so detached from their emotions. But I'm seeing the Eight of uh, Pentacles here. What is this person working on? The Ten of Pentacles. This person could be working at a new job or they could have got a new job that's paying more they could be in a very uh, prosperous time in their life money wise four of pentacles you know what i'm thinking you know what i'm seeing this person is working on releasing this per person is working on releasing things because in order to have this ten of pentacles there's stuff that they need to get rid of okay if they're ever going to have a, a fruitful connection or connections with substance long lasting connections even because the ten of pentacles talks about things that last it's longevity stability and longevity as well they need to release here what do they need to release the need to play games self-sabotaging behavior strength they need to release that need to control things the need to self-sabotage you know strength card is here twice definitely could be a leo what is the five of wands seven of swords it's like they self-sabotage themselves they, they they cheat themselves out of good things justice card you know the universe is trying to bring them balance here it could be a libra but it's like they they shoot themselves in the foot because they're in this state of they never trust it or they, they, they get to a certain point and then they retreat with this king of swords. You know, they, they start off here 
you know, wanting to invest, but they don't get in too deep because the Knight of Cups is, is lighthearted energy. This is having a drink. This is, you know, surface level. OK, but they get into these connections where, you know, there's there's an impress right in front of you. There's somebody of substance right in front of you. This is all four queens combined, the empress. And we've got her here twice. OK, this is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is serious. This is wife material, legacy material with that ten of pentacles. And, you know, they get into this self-sabotaging energy. King of swords unstable unsure wanting to play games or you know just just close off seven of pentacles yeah seven seven guarded over investing fully you know but this is the thing that they see about themselves they see seven of pentacles again they see this about themselves they're actually looking at you know the fact that they want to display the cloudiness of their intuition. They want to dispel any sort of illusion that they may have created for themselves to tell themselves that they don't need love or, you know, they they need to push down emotions because that's just not realistic. What is this Four of Cups? The Magician card? The Four of Cups again. It's like this person just has been dedicated to ignoring whatever this is committed to ignoring whatever this is four of cups a lot of the cards are coming out the same it's so weird this is a self-sabotaging energy this is a person who's been needing to do this healing needing to do this inner work for a very very long time and they've just kind of shied away from it like success has been what has shadowed Put a plaster over a gaping wound type of thing. Band-aid, plaster, wherever you are in the world. Full card. The world could be an explorer. Somebody who likes to, you know, glow trot or have adventures here. Could be a very light-hearted person. Two of swords. And they, what are they blocking? They're blocking their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. They're blocking their wish fulfillment because of their fear. What are they fearful of? The Emperor losing control, Knight of Wands, losing their freedom in order to sacrifice for a relationship. This person could have commitment issues as well. They, it's almost like they find commitment a chore. They find it's so difficult to, to open up emotionally. Instead, they, they like to control things. You know, they don't want to lose the control because of their fears, the deepest fears at the pit. Could be a Pisces cancer uh, sign here it's like they're blocking their wish fulfillment they're blocking what will genuinely make them happy okay by sitting in this stubborn energy empress ace of swords in the reverse six of wands it's like they're lying to themselves and covering it up with success you know knight of pentacles but it's like they're not getting anywhere fast in this mentality it's like it's keeping them stagnant, emotionally stagnant. Yeah, it's keeping them emotionally stagnant. It's keeping them in a state of unrest internally. It's like you're going somewhere, but you're not going anywhere. This is a halt. This is stopping. Okay, but what they really want is the success of, you know, elevation, the success of being able to get to higher heights in their life here. Nine of Swords, this person's anxious. Three of Wands over what comes next. Could be at a distance. So they rather keep it superficial. Yeah, they rather keep it superficial. Judgment. This person doesn't want to hit that. They want to heal something with you and kind of um, set right some sort of disappointment here. With that Judgment card, that's Scorpio energy. They definitely are thinking about a second chance here, coming back together with the Three of Cups. This could be a person you've turned your back on and this, this frustrates them. This makes them feel a bit worried, angry here. Um, worried, anxiety. I meant to say anxiety, but I said frustrated and angry. So maybe this person, this person could have made you angry. But yeah, it's an interesting energy here. A very, very interesting energy. I don't even know what to pick now. what would be the outcome any action what is this person's future actions here 
Person's future acts of action to Scorpio. Page of Swords to watch. Spy. Person could reach out. But they are watching, definitely. Ten of Wands. They feel really burdened. This is a really heavy energy. Ten of Cups. It's like they've got... It's like they feel like they've got such a big hurdle. Sorry about that, guys. It's like they feel they've got so they feel like it's gonna be such a hard slog for them to have this, you know, wish fulfillment, happiness in their life. But it's because they make things so much harder than what it needs to be. So much harder. And again, there's an energy of just sabotaging you know lying to themselves they could have done a lot of that in the past ace of wands what action will this person be taking knight of swords okay there's movement justice for some of you it is a libra they want to make something right they what they really desire is to come back together or to find somebody to connect with you what will be the outcome here? We've got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This person's very passionate about you. Page of Cups. They may extend a small little offer, but are they going to remain open? That Four of Cups keeps coming out. It's come out twice. It's like are they, they want to extend emotionally. You know, with the Page of Cups, that's a small admission of emotion. That could be a message. That could be, you know, hi, how are you doing? Light-hearted, very small energy, but it's to connect with you in some sort of emotional way. But with the Four of Cups, are they going to close off again? Are they going to ignore what they need to address again? Is it just going to be a cycle? Are they going to try to push past this barrier here? Allow to, allow to be open. The Chariot card. They're trying to move forward and put an end to something, transform something in their life. But, you know, this is a person who, you know, may need to do some work here. How does Scorpio feel about this person? How does Scorpio feel about this person? Three of Wands. Nine of Swords. We've got the Three of Wands, Nine of Swords down here as well. That came out. And the Lovers. You feel deeply connected to this person. But this also gives you a lot of anxiety and worry and stress. This could be a person that you moved away from and distanced yourself from due to them being emotionally unavailable. You could have felt like this wasn't bringing you peace here. This was bringing you more burden and stress than peace. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. For some of you, you've got something else coming in. You could be uh, collaborating with somebody else or concentrating on your work. You could be investing in some sort of business, your independence even. But there's definitely a blow up coming financially definitely some sort of um, independent energy seven of pentacles you definitely could be investing in you and waiting for it to grow this could be a virgo who you're investing in but i see a lot of elevation here i see you being on the right path for yourself scorpio and you're slowly heading towards eight of swords knight of cups yeah whoever this was because they're coming up as that knight of cups you know whoever this was this could have been a person that was very you know, tried to date you, tried to wine and dine you possibly, but it's just like you just felt stuck at a certain level with this person. Like, you know, they, them being mentally stuck means you are mentally stuck. And when you're mentally stuck, that's... How can I put it? It's like them being mentally stuck. If you attach yourself to that energy, you become mentally stuck. If you're stuck to a person who may be stagnant or, you know, having to deal with some sort of blockage because this is a big blockage for this person then it it starts to be your reality nine of wands you know and you take on that burden you take on the insecurity you take on that vibration here seven of wands you become defensive and closed off and for the most part scorpio scorpio six of cups i see you in a very very uh playful energy we've got the six of cups three of cups some of you could be connecting with old friends here partying here having a good time even family friends surrounding yourself with people that um reconnect you 
with self and I just see you possibly maybe you could have blocked this person but not wanting to look at whatever this person here is going to be coming in with the moon because you feel like there's too much hidden about a situation you feel like this person's too controlling the emperor you can feel like this person has control issues and this is something that you may not want to revisit due to the unknowns the moon talks about you know insecurity fear okay due to you know too many unknowns about what this person is going through or this could be a person that keeps a lot to themselves as well ten of swords you don't want to be in this state of feeling betrayal due to somebody not being able to emotionally connect with you crown of cups okay this is the king of cups emotional connection it's the same with come full circle this is the same in this deck it's called the crown of cups this card this the king of cups and we've got two admissions of needing to open up feelings coming to the surface and if this person is not going to meet you with emotion here i see you yeah ending this three of swords four of swords withdrawing what a reading scorpio that is what i have for you if you like how i read please like share and subscribe to the channel but until next time scorpio sending you love and light at this time i will see you soon you take care bye